everyone and welcome to my latest video uh, this one's sort of one that's quite a lot of people have been sort of asking me about this is basically uh, involving how I clean my PCBs after I sort of worked on them getting all the excess flux and uh, all the contaminants off so yeah I thought I'd just put a short video together to sort of sort of say what fluids I use and what cleaning cloths I use and basically where you can get the items uh, if you need to get them so yeah I, you know hopefully you'll enjoy it and find something useful I'm going to do a few demos um, I've got two fluids to use. I've got one called Ultrasolve, and later on I've got another one called Fluxsoft. I'll show you a few demos uh, involving both of them, so uh, hopefully you'll sort of see how good the fluids are. So as you can see on this board, I've just got that connector that I've got all the flux around. I'm going to do quite a simple cleaning method on that. I'm just going to use a dipped cloth in Ultrasolve. Um, I tend to get the litre bottles of Ultrasolve and sort of decant some into a small container. And then dip my uh, my G-Tech dry wipes into it and just wipe it off. And with this one, this board's basically got flux all over it. Hopefully, I can sort of get this in in the camera shot. As you can see, there's quite a lot of flux all around this board. It's quite a messy board. So what I'll do, I've basically got a decent method for this, where I sort of sort of bath it in a slight bit of ultra solve, and uh, I've got a sort of secret tool that I use to basically uh, get it really really clean. Um, it's as good as a cleaning machine if it's done right. So yeah, hopefully you'll you'll sort of see a new method that you might not know with this one. So yeah, what I'm going to do first, as like I say, I've got my uh, G Tech dry wipes that I love, and my Ultra Solve and the flux off. So first of all, I'm going to do an Ultra Solve with the uh, the dry wipes just to basically just to wipe this one clean, and uh, yeah, get all that flux off that connector there. So that's what I do first. I just do this one first, then we move on to the other. Right, so we're coming to the first method uh, in these short videos. This is one where I'm just going to use a dipped cloth into some Ultra Solve. Ultra Solve comes in a few different varieties. You can get it in a sort of one litre sort of little drum. Basically, you can get a five litre one, 25 litre one. You can also get an aerosol spray where the brush goes in into the end. That one's exactly the same as the Flux Off one I'll be using later in the videos. So you'll sort of see how that style works. So as you can see, I've got quite a lot of flux around this connector. Just angle it so you can see that sort of better. Just give it a zoom in. Yeah, as you can see, you've got a lot of flux around there. So what I'll do, I'll uh, show you. I normally go over this one a couple of times with a cloth. And uh, yeah, I've got a little secret tool in a minute, which you'll sort of, uh, if you haven't sort of seen that one before, you'll be pretty, uh, pretty amazed at how good it is. So what I'm going to do, basically just dip a little bit of your cloth into the fluid. I'll try and keep my fingers out of the way because it's, uh, it's quite hard to do cleaning without blocking it. Hopefully you can sort of see what I'm doing. Yeah, just give the joints a gentle rub. This probably takes two or three times because there's quite a bit of flux around these joints. Hopefully my hand's not blocking it too much. But yeah, sometimes when I do videos it's, uh, it's impossible to sort of not block what you're doing. I'll try my best but it's, uh, it's quite hard. So I tend to do it once, and then I get a fresh bit of the cloth, and I'll just go over it once more. So something like this, because there's a lot of flux, probably going to take two or three times. You can use a brush if you want, but I find the brush sort of spreads the uh, the fluid around the board more. So as you can see, you've got quite a lot of uh, smearing around there. So I'd, what I do then? Get the hair dryer on it, and hopefully you should see that disappear. You sort of see that evaporate. So what I can do, I'm just going to go over it once more for the final sort of final nice touch. And this will leave it really clean the whole lot. So I'll just go right around the outside. Hopefully my hands are not blocking it again. Right, and as you can see, you got your, you can see the smearing. So what you do, hair dryer. And you see all that evaporate. And if you get any little fibres, these cloths are really good for not leaving fibres. You can just brush it off. And as you can see, you've got a really clean joint, uh, some joints all around. No flux at all anywhere. So as you can see, that's a really good method. So um, yeah, that's basically a dipped cloth in Ultra Soul. They're the G-Tech dry wipes. I'll put a sort of photo up later where you can get in touch with them if you need to get some. So yeah, that's method number one. And... Uh, any sort of independent components, one-offs that you're doing around the board, that's what I like to do, just use a cloth. So what we do now, I'm going to do a whole board now. I'm going to use a method number two where I bath the board 
and uh, that's where the hair dryer really comes into its own. So what we do, the sort of second part of the ultra solve demonstration, I've got a whole board here that's got flux all over it. Um, yeah, you can see it's sort of down here. It's quite a bit down here. So there's a lot in there. You can see sort of flux everywhere really. Sort of down here. So yeah, if I zoom in a bit, you'll see it's sort of clearer. So yeah, you can see there's a lot of flux everywhere. So if I'm doing a whole board, I tend to sort of scrub the board clean and uh, yeah, basically then sort of um, put it in a little container and um, sort of swill it around a few times. That'll wash the flux off underneath components. And then basically just cloth and hair dryer it two or three times. Use a dusting brush if you get fibres and uh, you'll get it really clean. This does take a bit of practice, so please don't give up. I know a lot of people have done this and thought it's not working. In the end, they're amazed at how clean they can get their boards. So, yeah, when I sort of do ultra solve, I always um, make sure I've got a sort of well-ventilated room and uh, always dispose of it properly. So what I'm going to do, basically all I do, first of all, I just dip it in, a, I've got a container here. I'll just bring it in. I basically put it in there. I don't put too much in there. Just put a little, so it sort of runs over the top of the, so you've got a board. There's always certain components you shouldn't really um, put get fluid into. Um, so, yeah, basically... I'd always fit them after I've cleaned it. So yeah, get a good coating of ultra soap all over it. Just leave it for sort of 10 seconds or so. Just get it back in shot. And then basically I'll just then give it a good scrub. When you're sort of scrubbing boards, use quite a soft brush and be sort of quite careful. So yeah, basically give it a good scrub all over. So certain components you shouldn't really sort of get fluid in like Sort of variable sort of resistor pots and uh, certain switches, some crystals, some connectors you don't really want to get too much in. So yeah, just brush it gently so you don't do any damage to any components. Just get a bit more fluid on my brush. But it does take a little bit of effort this to get these clean. But you will eventually you will get the sort of hang of it and you will be amazed at how clean you can get your boards. This one will take a little while because it was the whole board that would flux all over it. So basically I've given that a good wipe over. Just got a hair brush from a brush hair there, just pulled it out of the way. There you go. So basically that's what you do first, just give it a good sort of scrub, being careful obviously not to damage anything. And then I'd get one cloth and I'd sort of just gently wipe the worst of this fluid off. So just, yeah, just give it a dab all over, just getting the worst off. Don't go mad, just really gently. Just get sort of what you can off. Okay, it's like I say, you've got to be really careful. But if you haven't, obviously you haven't got a cleaning tank at home, <laughs> this is a great method. And not too many people, hobbyists, for example, aren't going to have cleaning tanks. So that's got basically, that's the first sort of stage. Just give it a scrub, get the worst off with the cloth. And then what I do then, I bring the fluid over in the container, just put a little bit on top and just give it a gentle sort of swirl round. Do this about, yeah, probably about 25 times I normally do it. Hopefully I'm not losing the, uh, the vision in your on your screen because I'm having to move this around quite a bit. It's quite hard probably to keep it in focus. This is where the hair dryer sort of is great because it can dry the whole board really quick. Yeah, so you just swill it around quite a bit. Sorry if I'm making you dizzy when you're watching this, but um, yeah, it's the only way I can do it really. If you've got quite a few boards, you can get generally get a fair few boards out of one bit of ultra sole, so you won't use too much. And this is basically, that's why I try and get the litre bottle so I can sort of tip some into a container like this. Right, so that's basically the sort of second stage. So what I do now, just hold it up and drip the worst into the, you see it dripping down in the corner. Just give it a little shake. Right, let's get rid of the container. So I lay that down again. So as you can see, you've got your fluid on top of the board. And then again, get a fresh cloth. And just give it a sort of a clean all over, just gently. Just getting the worst off. 
This would generally take like a few more, well, probably a couple more goes than the last sort of method. Because it is the whole board, not just one component. Right, so as you can see, you have, we'll have a lot of smearing on this. I'll hold it up so you can see it. So you can see quite a bit of fluid on there. So this is where I'll get the hair dryer on it. And you should see that disappear. Right, so you will still have a bit of smearing. It, so it does take quite a few times this, but you will get a really clean board. And then just go over the bits that you can see the smearing. Hopefully you can save your hands not blocking it. So just give it a bit of a going over again, just gently. The good thing about when you swilled it around in the fluid, that sort of washes off any flux that might be underneath the components. And you can actually get boards amazingly clean like this. It seems like a lot of effort, but it's well worth it. So that's that stage, and then one more hair dryer. Right, so we're getting there. That's really pretty clean now. So you've got nearly all the flux off that was on there earlier. That's just shading on the board that you can see certain places. That's just part of the board, how it, so it's, I can't really do much about that. That's how it is. But if you want to go over it once more, you can. Just once more in there. This is the last bit I'm going to do, and then I'll sort of show you the whole board all over. And obviously there was a lot of flux on it, and I think this one's come out pretty well. Just one more time with a hairdryer. Right, so as you can see, it's just zooming a little bit. All that flux that was around them components earlier is all gone. So that's just sort of smear, that's part of the board. There's nothing you can do about them. That's sort of how the board would have come. So yeah, you can see that's pretty clean all over. Without hardly any, well, basically all the flux is gone. So that's how you can do a whole board, just dipped in a container. And uh, yeah, it's a great method, this. That's how I do all my sort of whole total builds of boards when I do them. Sort of one like this, for example. And I can get any board really clean. Like I say, there's certain components you shouldn't dip, but you'll get to know them. So, um, yeah, you can't go far wrong, really. But I think that's come out pretty well. So, yeah, that's method number two. So, you, like, decant some into a container. Basically, use the size just bigger than the board you've sort of got to clean. And uh, so you can get it like this, really, you know, bit of effort and you, you'll get there. So the hair dryer is the secret tip with this. If you get one of them, just on a gentle heat, it'll do a great job. So that's the first two methods with the ultra solve. What I do, I stick a couple of photos up and then uh, I'll move on to the other fluid that I use, um, the flux off. So yeah, what I'll do, move on to that one uh, after the photos. So basically this is just a quick guide showing you the second uh, cleaning fluid that I like to use if I can't get the Ultra Solve. This one is actually called Flux Off. It's available from places like Farnell, RS Components and uh, other electrical retailers. This one's quite a nifty one. It's basically you always get a, sort of a, a cleaning brush supplied with it in a little bag. It's got a hollow end at the end. So basically what you do, you slot it onto the little grey sort of nozzle at the top and uh, as you sort of squeeze the trigger, Basically the uh, fluid comes through the brush and out the other end and uh, you can sort of scrub your board straight away. It's quite a decent product this. So if you can't get the Ultra Soul, this is another good one to get. So yeah, it's pretty good. I'll do a couple of demonstrations in a minute showing this one. But say this is the second fluid that I will use if I can't get the Ultra Solve. So like it's widely available, it's pretty easy to get and uh, it will do you a good job. So what I'll do, I'll quickly show you a couple of demonstrations of using this and uh, I hope you find them useful. Come on to the first little demonstration using the flux off. 
So I've got these three capacitors down here in this uh, in the middle of the screen. As you can see, there's quite a bit of flux around them. So basically, what I've got here, I've got the uh, the cleaning brush attached to the nozzle at the top of the flux off uh, container. So all you do, you squeeze the trigger, and you'll see it come out the end of the brush. There you go. And then basically, just give it a scrub. So this is sort of better for a larger area, because uh, for an independent component, you're better off just using the uh, the cloth in the, uh, the dipped fluid, basically, so you don't want to spread it all around. But yeah, you give it sort of a scrub like that, and it get it does a good job. This for a sort of large area, it's pretty decent. I still use a cloth to go over it after, just to get the worst off. But it will get good results. This method. So basically, I've scrubbed all the flux off. I'll just get me uh, me cloth again, and I always would go over it just uh, just to finish the job off. So I say you've got two attachments for this the flux off. You've got the the cleaning brush and the straw to decant some. So it, it's sort of good method. It's a good fluid, and uh, so after this one, I'll show you the uh, the dip cloth method. And uh, yeah, they're both good, and they will, you will get good results. So. As you can see, you've got a decent result there. I'll just zoom in a little bit so you can sort of see it's all gone. Just uh, just going quite sort of quiet in. So yeah, as you can see, all the flux is sort of gone. And you've got a decent result, a decent finish. Sort of no flux anywhere to be seen. So for a larger area, the cleaning brush is the option to go for. But like I say, for a one-off component, use the dip cloth. So that's, uh, that's the first part of the flux off demonstration. So what I'll do, I'll just quickly move on to the second uh, version and I'll show you where I decant some into a little container and use the cloth. So yeah we'll do that one now. Right, so coming to the second demonstration using the flux off. This is a version I forgot to sort of mention at the start of the video with the flux off. You can actually remove the cleaning brush and you can fit a little straw into the centre of the grain nozzle and then decant some into a little container. So you can then sort of use a dip cloth, the one of the GTEC wipes and you can sort of do it um, the way I like to do it, if, especially if you're getting a sort of a one-off component where you don't really want to scrub the cleaning fluid around. So yeah, basically you can just use a cloth dipped into the fluid and uh, you can do it this way, which I'm going to do on this one. So I've got quite a bit of flux around this little component around the end. As you can see, it's sort of quite deep. So There's quite a bit around there. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to use a dip cloth into the sort of a decanted flux off and just sort of do it how I would always do my sort of one of components, sorry my fingers can probably going to block this but it's a pretty decent fluid it will get, it might take a couple of goes but you will get all this flux off and it will leave a nice finish so it's actually a really good method especially like I say if you've got a one of component you don't want to spread the fluid everywhere just use a dip cloth and definitely the best way so as you can see you've got a pretty decent joint nice and clean if you want to go over it again you can you can even get it cleaner than that if you wanted to. But um, as you can see, it's got nearly all the, flu the sort of a flux off and it's left pretty decent finish. So it's, it's a really good fluid. So it's good, along with the Ultra Solve, they're the two I use. So this is basically a decanted version into a little container using a dip cloth. And uh, that's the other way I do sort of use my flux off. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed uh, all this sort of cleaning video and uh, hopefully you've learned something and you know, maybe you can get some of the fluids yourself in the future and uh, make your sort of life easier. You will get good finishes from them. It does take a little bit of practice, but you will get there. So you want to do, put a few more photos up and uh, thank you for watching. I'll see you all again soon with some more solving videos. If you like what you see, it'd be great if you could subscribe. And uh, yeah, thanks a lot and I'll see you again soon. Thank you.